hello guys and welcome to gemini soul this is a collective message guys it may not resonate with all of you and if not that's okay um maybe we'll click in the next time but this is message for because i have some cards that i already pulled out when i was in my meditation and these messages is for someone that's in separation from the person so we're getting some messages from them and then we're going to clarify the message and just see how the spirit is going to guide this healing not all the time is separation is to come back it could just sometime give you clarity of why this situation may have happened or had to happen um and sometimes we're just looking for clarity and we and i feel that if you're guided to this message that perhaps there is some clarity in here that could give you strength and, and power and uplifting to either move on or to be patient in a certain situation, okay? <clears throat> now, this is pretty much in separation, so it could be your lover. Uh, this could be someone you have feelings for. It could be a family member. It could be just information from above that you need to hear. So let's get into it. The first card that came out of why you're in separation from this energy is what I'm gonna say. Take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you guys, then maybe the next time, but all I ask you to do is give me a thumbs up, comment below if you like the way I'm doing the reading and you wanna see more of those readings. Uh, definitely subscribe, I would love to have you part of the collective. All right, so the first card came out is Soul Contract, all right? Soul Contract, the lesson I learned from us will never be forgotten. You're in separation from this person because there was a lesson that needed to be learned. I feel that it has been learned. Now, it doesn't, you know, soul contracts doesn't mean that you're going to be with this person forever. It just means that on your timeline, it was meant for you to meet this person for a reason or a season. Sometimes it's a lifetime. In this situation, this person feels that they learned something with dealing with you. Now, if it was about love, heartbreak, separation, success, patience, um, whatever they felt they learned from you, they feel that it will never be forgotten. Maybe you show this person how they should be loved, or maybe that they wasn't showing up in a connection or how to show up in a connection, but there is something that you're in separation with this person, and it says it's a soul contract. So it was meant for this person to be on your journey with you for whatever length of time has been, though you guys have separated at this time. Do know that they did learn something. Now, this energy could be vice versa. You may feel that you've learned something, or both. If by being a soul contract, both of you have learned something in this relationship. When it comes to um, what it is that they're working within, or you, is guilt. I feel pain from the damage I have caused you. This person feel like maybe that's what they learned, that they didn't know that you really cared so much or that you was really going to be invested or that you were serious or you was for real about loving them. You was for real about showing up. And they didn't show up in they best energy towards you. Um, but they've learned a lesson. Now, this lesson could be the fact that there's a soul contract, that there's something they have to go off and complete and find within themselves spiritually, um, mentally, and heal within themselves in order to be a better person for you. Sometimes separation is there for healing. And I feel this may be a situation because there's a soul contract. There is something that was meant to happen in this relationship in order for both parties to grow and to be able to move forward, to understand something, right? But there is something damaging here because whether there was 
infidelity. Um, if there was not enough trust, maybe someone hiding their emotions, someone wouldn't open up. Maybe they didn't want to commit. Maybe they was afraid. Um, maybe they was attached to other contracts that they needed to release in order to have you or to be in this contract with you. Okay. Um, reciprocity is your next card that came out. I want to have equal give and take. This person wants to have equal give and take with you. This person wants to know how to give equally. Maybe this person has struggled with understanding what that means. Because everybody have different ideas of what equal give and take is. It's not just financial. It's being there emotionally. Emotionally available for that person. Um, even being there during times where there's a misunderstanding. And we have to be patient with each other. Is what I'm hearing. Uh, we do have the overall for this reading is revealed. I want to tell you the truth. So there may be something that this person feels guilty about. Uh, and as they, they feel the, the pain from the damage um, that they caused you. And they want to tell you the truth about something. Maybe they left because they didn't know how to tell you the truth. Okay. And we're going to get more into this. Uh, energy and I feel that you both play a big part in this separation. I feel this person may have just left and said they needed time or this wasn't working out for them, right? I feel the the fear and commitment here. And the the fear of commitment is they realize that something that you guys shared was more precious than they even thought it would be. Maybe they thought this was just a relationship that they would get in and you guys would just date and maybe go out and that's it. But I think someone got caught up really in their feelings and they realized this was a soul contract that something was much more than what they thought it would be. All right, let's get into clarifying. So the soul contract um, the lesson uh, from let's see, the lesson that this person learned with possibly you, what is it about? Okay. So, right away, you know, the Knight of Wands is in and out energy. Again, I told you, this person may have thought this was just going to be a fling. Uh, that you guys would meet, you probably have some, you know, some special time together, and then they be out, and they still be doing what they doing, okay? Um, but uh, I don't think it worked out that way, right? This is that in and out energy. This is not really being committed. They come in, they maybe date, go to dinner, see each other. It's nothing serious, right? That leaves their energy open to come and go. Um, they may have been dealing with other relationships or friendships on the side and don't have to be like necessarily cheating, but a lot of other energies where they didn't have to stay there. They could just come and go. Um, maybe that's what they expected. Maybe they thought that's what you would allow. Maybe at first they didn't know that you wanted something more if you did, or it could be the opposite. Okay. That you just thought, in and out, nothing serious, and it became much more serious to you than you, you know, thought it would be. And look at here, we have the Six of Swords. So this person, what they're saying is they're sorry that they didn't keep their energy focused on this relationship, that they had other things going on, that they were in and out, um, and they regret that. Because I feel that in this relationship, you brought peace and calm or, or or they brought that to you. So whoever this is for, I'm going to just take this reading as if I'm talking to you and this is the person you separated. So I'm going to give you this energy. All right. If it's yours, take it. If not, you can change it any way you want. But just don't be in denial. Okay. So you brought peace into this person's life. Um, 
You even helped them over times, uh, choppy times where things was pretty rough, right? And they enjoyed that. They loved that. I'm also feeling like this person may have came in towards you when things were difficult, like wherever they ran off to, you know, and things just got crazy and around, they came running back to you and you were their peaceful state. You were that person that they got past whatever it is. If it was financial, if it was a mental breakdown, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing, okay? If something in their life happened and it became very rocky and choppy, you were there. You were their peace. And that's why this person feels like um, the lesson that they learned from you, it says, uh, will never be forgotten. They realize how you showed up in the connection, how you made them feel. And some of that could have scared them also because they never had a relationship or been in a relationship where someone was that peaceful and understanding to them. Okay. Um, some of them was running from the fear of leaving. Like they felt them getting so much in their emotions that they, even if they were out there, like the King of Wands, it, it talks about the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry. The Knight of Wands talks about, you know, it could be a player's energy. They have several people that they talk to that they go in and out of these energies with, you know, they call them for whatever different reasons. And I feel them meeting you change that. All right. And they didn't know that it would would change their heart of what it is that they do. I also feel like this person was trying to run away from their feelings because they they didn't they've never felt this before. So they didn't know how to handle it. They didn't know how to handle you. OK, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing now. Guilty. I feel pain from the damage I have caused you. So. I feel you were in a space of giving, wanting to have a relationship, wanting to have a commitment. You may have even seen that you had a soul contract with this person. You may have felt something that you've never felt before with this person. Or at least you felt that you could have something, build something. Um, this person may have some point in time when they were in uh, brought peace to you at some point in time. Okay, what is it that this person, you know, what kind of damage they feel that they caused you? What kind of pain or damage that they feel they caused you? Y'all, uh, my spirit guides is for real. They caused you a heartbreak. It may have been a third party. They get it. They understand. Let me tell you something. This person knows they hurt you. And with hurting you, they hurt themselves too. This is what the spirit is telling me. This person may have had, I'm hearing, a whole nother situation outside of you. This person may have put family before you. I'm also hearing this person could be easily manipulated too. This person could have found something in you and they, okay, this is what I'm hearing. You know how a person has an image and this image is to maybe be a player. And then they start bragging about a situation that they're in and their voice change, right? Their walk change, their attitude change, the things that they used to do or how often they do it. Because I feel that they were still doing it, but slowly but surely it was changing because they had a soul contract that needed to be uh, taken up on, that the universe sent them. And it could have been because they needed a change. Um, but anyway, back to what I'm, what I'm feeling. This person definitely knows they hurt you. But within hurting you, they hurt themselves. And wherever this person is right now, they're going through guilt. That's what I'm hearing. And that's what came out. Came out with this three of swords. I feel pain from the damage I have caused you. 
they are having more pain about being in separation and what they did to you. Whether it was a lie, was it a third party, whether they just walked away or disappeared, didn't text anymore, didn't contact you anymore, um, told you that they needed space. Um, I'm even hearing some just like moved, moved. I'm hearing some, someone could have changed their phone number. Someone could have been blocked. You could have done that. And if you have blocked this person, this person is really trying to figure out how to, this is what I'm hearing, how to mend what it is that they did. Like, they don't know how. They don't know if it's anything that they can say that would change this situation with you. They do feel that what they did to you is almost like it's unforgivable. I don't know what it was. If it was that bad, that's the way they feel. Now, you may feel that way, or they may feel you feel that way. But they understand that they hurt you, and you didn't deserve that. They went in separation. Some of them went in separation because, again, they hurt themselves also. But they're reflecting is what I'm hearing. Because now we have reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. This person is now realizing what a relationship now whether they can have this relationship with you again the lesson they learn is that they really want to have equal give and take they don't want to take all the energy and be running in and out and this is what may be what you taught this person whatever you gave to them how you showed up for them i feel like you were just you was that safe haven is what i'm hearing and what you taught them is that Love is about commitment. Love is about sometimes releasing things that no longer serve you. That's not always easy to heal and grow. Um, I'm hearing stepping stones. Um, they, that perhaps you were there for this person and, and maybe you was even telling them like, okay, it'll take time. I know we've both been through certain things. I'm also feeling like this person sent you in a space like, man, how do you continue to stay in this peaceful space? They didn't understand your space. They didn't understand how you overcome what you overcome and became solid in what it is that your heart desired, what your heart wanted. But it was because of the lessons you also learned. So you do have reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Um, this person want to tell you the truth about something. And I feel whatever the heartbreak is. So say as if you didn't get all the answers. But you, whatever happened, you had enough information to know that it didn't make you feel good. It hurt your heart. It was disappointing. This person may even feel like they just tore your heart apart, but I feel like you got so much growth and understanding of yourself that you were just disappointed in the behavior of this person. Like, you may have felt that you were on a path with this person that seems to be, I just need to be a little patient. This person may feel like you're just bitter. But I feel like deep down inside, you like, but this fruit is sweet, right? Like, it's like you're the person that takes the lesson, learn from it, and use that as power. Use it as healing. Use it as learning, understanding, commitment more to yourself. I feel like that's it, right? The soul track, the, even though they learn something, you learn something too. You learn that when you give, maybe there's signs, there's 
there was something showing up that you didn't want to accept at the time. Maybe you put a lot of effort in it and you just kept on trying and you knew something wasn't right, but you gave a little more than you needed to. But I, I feel that this has helped you to continue. And that's why they don't understand, like, how are you moving on? How are you continuing to? Like, you may have told this person, okay, I get it. You know, if you haven't blocked this person, you've had a conversation with this person, like, all right, that didn't work out. You know, I wish you the best. Like, you stand strong in your power. And though I feel like you feel there's a connection, but you also felt like, man, I learned a lesson here. Thank you for the lesson. And it, it empowers you even more. And what this person don't know is when you come up on these energies that's unsure or these player-like energies or uh, ego energies, that it only helps you to be a better person within yourself and, and, and accept yourself. I'm also hearing some of you need to know that those are the lessons on your path is for to continue to empower yourself and you will find or have the relationship come towards you that not only will you be able to um, really work through the understanding of loving someone else, but you're going to be able to help them work through the understanding of loving their self. I don't know where that came from, but if this is resonating, then you understand what I'm saying. So, um, I want to have equal give and take. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. This person understands that to be in a relationship, you have to invest. And they seen that you were willing to invest. They may not even had a lot to offer, but you was willing. And that's because you have not let all the past relationships mold you into feeling like you deserve less. Now, you may have left this person because what you wanted was an investment. What you wanted was to build something, to have something, structure, stability, um, I'm hearing you may want it a home. You may want it a family to come together to glide. And, and if you're past that age, then you just want it. I'm hearing a lover. You want it someone to love. You want it someone you can pour into, someone you can invest in. And you also wanted them to be able to invest in you. So you may have told this person, like, you're not invested or... I'm putting more in this situation than you, which caused this to be a separation, okay? So what is it that this person wants to tell you? I want to tell you the truth. Page of Cups, they're sorry. This person wants to tell you that they're sorry. This person that's in separation with you, you've changed something in them emotionally that they wasn't even aware was there. This person wants to come in and make an offer towards you. This is what they want to tell you. Let's take a look back over here at this contract. Give me one for this contract. The Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Seven of Cups. This person wants to tell you that they was confused about this contract. That... They, they've learned something here that, I, and I'm so hearing, I may have had too many options, but the one most important option was you, right? This person could have had a lot of options of different lovers want to come their way or different opportunities. Some of them may have felt like, you know, if I buckle down and settle down, I won't get the things, you know, all these dreams and goals and everything. And they realize that, the, all those was just, you know, their mind could have just been running wild. People could have, if this is a person pretty much known to be a, not a, well, a player. Because night, you know, the night of wands shows up as energy that goes in and out. So if they've had, 
you know, they're this type of person where people see them and they're the, 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 the life of the party or they have plenty of options when it comes to women or men or whatever it is, or family loves to be around. Like they get a lot of attention. So they had a lot of options, but the best soul option was you. Okay. And they didn't know that then, but I feel that in this separation, that is what they're realizing. I also feel like, again, this heartbreak that they cause you, they've caused themselves, and they are missing you. And they do feel guilty about what it is that they did. Let's see this heartbreak. What do they plan to do about it? Oh, um, they're coming. They're coming. You overflow the love of whatever situation is outside of them. This separation, this person is. And, and sometimes hurt people hurt people. This person has realized you had so much love to offer them and you didn't deserve it. You didn't deserve what it is that they did because they were scared or because they have been hurt themselves or they was trying to keep from being hurt. You know how people react and do things. They feel themselves very emotionally getting attached. And so they run off and they do something to hope that it will soften the blow. Uh, this person could have been afraid of love. Um, they have they could have had so many uh, heartbreaks in their past that when they felt their emotions overflowing, they did something stupid, right? They went back to an ex. They disappeared. They started putting their guard up. But they're regretting that because emotionally they are connected. There's, this says soul contract. So you guys' souls are connected. Now, How? just because souls are connected and there's a contract, we do have free will. How will you accept this? Will you accept apology? Will you accept this person back? I'm not saying, you know, telling you what to do. What I'm telling you is follow your heart. Follow how they show up. Follow what they bring. Because this person is coming back, Okay. Let's get a time frame. When this person comes back, or let's see something. Oh, hold on. This person's coming back. Let's see. Spirit. This person guilt is they realize that they want you. They realize that all those options they had means nothing. But they ran off. And that's because they wanted to heal or they just was afraid of their emotions. The destroyed feminine. You could have been, it could have been a feminine. They could have been dealing with someone. Uh, it could have been a mother. It could have been an uh, ex. Uh, but they, it was destroyed of, of what real love is. Um, that feminine part of them, that emotional part, that giving of how to show up. If it's a male, then the feminine part of him was, it wasn't, he wasn't taking accountability of your love, your preciousness, right? He didn't know how, I'm saying he, but guys take it how it resonates. So it was distorted. The, the, they were more in the masculine, right? Which is the night of wands. They were more into being masculine and how people see them. But now this person is getting more into their feminine because it was just, it, it's what needed to heal, right? And that's the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords. And that's the guilt that they realized, you know, like they needed to have more respect. That's what I'm hearing. More respect for you in this situation. Respect for your heart, respect for what you was given, how you was offering to invest in this. They have spiritual maturity under the bottom. And that's what I wanted to see so that I can give good advice. <laughs> I needed that clarity. And they have spiritual maturity. Something has happened, clicked in this person's heart, their mind, spiritual guidance, your ancestors taking over like the, the soul contract is meant to come together. But remember, we all have free will. And I'm not saying take this person back. What I'm telling you is this person is coming. And when people come back into your life, you 
have learned the lesson already just from them leaving during that time of separation. So it wasn't for nothing. You have an option to see how they move. Do you feel like this person has come back because they have spiritual lessons they have learned? They understand now. Now, I'm not saying if it's toxic and there was fighting and drugs and alcohol and all those different things, you know. Now, unless a person has went into rehab and it's changed and you see the change, like you're smart enough to know if you see a change. You know if it's the same energy that left or trying to come in and dupe you. You will know the difference. So that's how I see you. I see you as... You may sit back and watch for a while. You may see how this person moves. You may even start off with dating or maybe a conversation. Um, I'm hearing you may decide to unblock this person, maybe text for a while. It's, it's up to you. But I'm also hearing that you can feel the energy immediately. That it won't be like you have to wait a year or two years before you see how this. I'm feeling like the moment you get in the room with this person, you're already going to feel it. Your higher you is it, it's going to touch here. You're going to know whether this person is worthy of you investing. Have they changed? Is this for you? And I feel like the reason you're going to know because your spirit guides are going to be right there with you because your heart desires something. Your heart desires a commitment. It may even desire this person because of the contract. So just be prepared that when you connect with this person, because they are coming back, be patient with yourself, listen to your intuition and move in that manner. Okay. Um, this person has did some mature, uh, some spiritual maturity. They have looked at what it is that they did. And again, y'all can change this all around if you want to. It doesn't matter, but I'm speaking to the person that clicked on this. This is what I'm feeling your energy is. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you are understanding this and it made any sense to you. Because I need to know that I'm connecting with the collective that this message made a difference and they claiming it and um it helps me to connect with you guys even more you can comment below if you don't want to tell your whole story you could just say thank you for the reading uh but i just like to know who i'm connecting with and how often i'm connecting with you guys as a collective okay so this is what i got for this reading I am going to do a message of closure for you. Let's see. Spirit, what is the message of closure here for the collective when it comes to this overall reading? What you would like this collective to know? What is the message, the guidance, the support? I'm also hearing, I'm seeing seven. So July could mean something to you guys. Um, I see. I seen July the fifteenth. Hmm, interesting. I seen July the fifteenth. Um, I'm hearing three weeks, three months. Separation's been six months. Separation's been three months. Please don't blame yourself. This is your closing message. Please don't blame yourself. The universe wants you to know. Don't blame yourself. I am helping you now. And the, I did not tell you the universe was going to be the universe, the divine, your spiritual guidance, whatever it is, whatever you see, however you move, whether you accept it, you don't, this person, um, because not everybody has free will. So this person could not return. If they use, they invoke their free will. Some people are so scared to love their, even though they learn the lessons they're willing to, you know. And the, the thing about this is your angels know what you deserve. And if something, sometimes if they study long, they study wrong. And you may get a new a contract. 
written and they close that contract out. If they close that out, there's a new person that's coming your way that will be making you an offer. And it will be the offer that you deserve. It's the offer that you were looking for. This person would be spiritually already mature and healed. This person may be in healing and come back, right? Is in separation. But if they invoke free will, sometimes if things is just a little too much for them and they're not ready, that's when they, you know, they realize they missed the boat. But you're not going to miss the boat because what's for you is coming. I am helping you now. This means that whatever this situation, how it ends up, don't worry about it. You have a new love coming. And it just gets greater is what I hear. Don't worry. No matter how it works out, if this person comes back, it gets greater. It's a contract. If this person doesn't come back, you got a new contract. There's a new offer coming in. And you're not going to have to go through what you went through here. This will be a contract of someone already healed and ready for you and ready to take on this contract. So either way, please don't blame yourself. The universe is telling you that's your closing message. Please don't blame yourself because I am helping you now. Love and Light Collective. I hope this resonated with you guys. If you just love the reading the way I did it, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in your next reading. Bye.